I'm gonna go over a slime recipe. It's actually, if you go on Google and just um, type in slime recipe, easy slime recipe, or slime recipe with borax, it is uh, one of the first things that pops up. And so it sounds like it's a lot of liquid. It sounds like too much water. So when you read over the list of ingredients, you're thinking, I don't think that one's gonna work for me. It sounds like it's not enough um, of the solution, too much water, it's, it's not going to come together. So I wanted to show how to put it together and how easily it does work. I actually really don't like this stuff. It's really messy. It serves no purpose. I mean, it's not like you can give it to someone after you make it. You just, um, this is one that I made earlier. You, you have to, keep it covered, you know, because it will, um, it'll, it'll definitely dry up because of the glue inside. But this one is what they call a slow slime. And I didn't know what that meant until I tried the recipe out myself and then figured out, oh, okay, slow slime. Slow slime means if you go to just pull it and play with it, it's going to rip like that. And it's gonna look chunky and gross inside and you're gonna think you ruined it. And you're gonna feel like you put way too much of the borax in there and maybe you messed up the whole thing and have to start over. So I actually did this recipe with some kids um, last summer um, and it, it did this same thing. It came together much like this one is. It was really chunky. It looked kind of gross. And they said, oh, I ruined it. I messed it up. And then they threw it out. And then we made some more because um, we felt like we had messed it up. But actually the way this works is you're supposed to stretch it and pull it slowly. So I will demonstrate. And I just, I didn't put any coloring in this one. This was just the clear glue. And I put glitter in there, a couple different kinds. So you're seeing the pink and purple from the glitter. But as you can see, if you just gently work it, and stretch it. It will pull apart slowly without snapping. And the clear is nice for this because then you, know, you can see right through it and you can add a little tiny drop of a food coloring if you want. But it's just, it's really stretchy if you move slowly with it. So um, it picks up everything. You set it down on something. It, it picks up hairs if you drop it on the floor. Uh, it's just really gross. I really don't like this stuff. But for the purpose of this video and for the purpose of um, kids out there who want to learn how to make this stuff or a board over spring break, um, whatever, you got a day off school and you want to make something, um, feel like doing something messy, then you can try out this recipe. And it's actually really easy. It's really cheap. If you have regular glue, it doesn't have to be a fancy brand or anything. It doesn't need to be Elmer's. I just have store brand glue. Um, here, let me let me demonstrate also that another thing you can do with it, and this is a cool way to see all the glitter, is if you slowly stretch it across your fingers like this, you can stretch it really, really thin, but I have to pull it slowly or else it'll break. But you can pull it for a long time without, without seeing any holes pop up in there. So that's kind of cool. Um, it settles after a while, so I made this like 30 minutes ago, and then it looked really bubbly and weird in the cup. And see, it's still stretching, it's still going. The gravity is just pulling it along and stretching it slowly. It's pretty cool, it will eventually break, but that's pretty neat, I can see right through it. Um, but then, you know, it looked kind of gross in the cup, and then I, I thought, okay. I was thinking the same thing, I ruined it, it's not gonna work. But then I, I just kind of let it settle, just left it in the cup. And when I came back, it looked like this. It was, it really does work like that. Um, it's bouncy. It's really, really weird stuff. It's springy. If I tap it, you can almost see it jiggling, but you can feel it kind of like shaking around in there. It's just vibrating after I tap it. It's so weird. And it'll take on the, the shape of the container too. It just makes a really gross sound. And I don't know, people like this stuff. Anyways, you can add different things to it. You can add different glitters. You can add coloring. Uh, some people add little styrofoam balls or little mix-ins and stuff. I've got a, some of them to show right here. These are from the dollar store. They're kind of like the stuff you put in a snow globe. So just tiny little styrofoam balls. These make a mess. So when you open them up, open them over a container or something because they're so lightweight that when you cut it, they'll just fly everywhere and you can't sweep them up. They go everywhere. Uh, I just keep them in a bag when I'm done. I have some other things that are fun to mix in. Well, fun if you like this kind of thing. But um, see, I have mine in a Ziploc bag, the ones that are open, so I can just reach in and take out what I want. I might mix some of these into the one I'm going to make. But um, And this stuff is... This is fake snow. You know, if you have a Christmas village or something, this is the stuff that you put around the, the village, uh, the base of the houses. So it looks like snow on the ground, but actually it's really just, it's like pieces of plastic. It's almost like trash bags all cut up into little pieces. Um, the stuff, the thing I don't like about this is if you're making slime in a big container, you know, you're mixing it into something that you're gonna probably not throw out. You're gonna save the container. You're gonna just wipe it out and then wash it. Um, this stuff, 
you don't want to get any of this down your drain. Um, it'll clog your sinks, of course, and it doesn't go anywhere. It's just plastic, so you'll want to um, make sure that you get every little bit of that out of your container before you go and wash it. Oh, and I've got another one here. This one's really pretty. I got it at the dollar store around Christmas time. And again, it's just a little fake snow, but this one's a little iridescent. It's really pretty. Probably can't really tell so much on the video how shiny this one is, but it's really cool. Um, just different glitters that I have. Some This one's like a chunky foil glitter with big pieces. And then... I have a lot of this one left, but it's really pretty. This is the purple that I used in the one that I made. I know it looks mostly pink, but I did put purple in there. This is just a another pretty colorful glitter. If you don't want to put any color in your slime, you can use some pretty colored glitter. That'll kind of do that for you. I've got green here. Um, but if you do want to color it, I usually pull out um, whenever we're doing a slime making workshop here at our studio, I'll pull out the green colors because I think slime, I think green, I think like a gross Nickelodeon slime that's green color. So I've got the, just a couple different kinds of show. It doesn't matter. You can use the food coloring droppers. These are just the little cheapy guys, you know, whatever McCormick brand or whatever, they come from Walmart. Um, and then, you know, I've got my cake decorating ones, which are the gels and those are fine too. I got green, but you know, you can do whatever, whatever color. You don't need more than a drop or two, just, just a tiny, tiny little bit. Um, and it goes a long way, especially in the clear glue slime, which is made with this stuff right here. I just, this is what I use. I just have this big gallon size container of clear glue. Um, I got it at Michael's, but it's their store brand, but you can use Elmer's, you don't have to. I've also got uh, some containers of warm water. I'll talk about that in a second. So I talk about the measurements and then the uh, borax this stuff right here. You get so much of it. I just wish they had a smaller container. Gosh, you got to get four pounds of this stuff. Um, and you're only going to use, I'm only going to use a teaspoon of this and that's how much you'll use. Not even, you won't even use the whole teaspoon to make this. Um, and that's, that's enough to, I guess, keep any kid busy for a good amount of time. Okay. So the recipe is, uh, all made with a, uh, all you need is the, for measuring, measuring cups, you only need the half cup is what this is. I need a, I know it's worn off, but it used to say teaspoon. This is a teaspoon. Um, not, not absolutely crucial that it's an, an actual, you know, uh, perfect teaspoon. It, it can be a little more, a little less. That's fine. Um, so you all, you need to get, uh, I've got these two, two containers here, microwave safe containers of water. Each one has a half cup of water. They're both warm, I think. Yeah, still a little warm. I just microwaved them. Um, so this half cup of warm water in each. Uh, now one of them is going to get a teaspoon of borax mixed into it. Put it in, stir it around. And the other one is going to get a half cup, same measurement, of glue mixed into it. I don't know why it has to be warm, but that's the only way I've ever made it is with warm water and it works. So I'm not going to mess with that. If Google tells me to make it with warm water, I'm going to make it with warm water. Maybe you can experiment with cold water, room temperature water, and see if it does something different. Um, I don't know. To me, it's it's also kind of weird to have warm slime to play with when you're all done because this stuff will feel warm right away when you're done with it. Now it's getting kind of cold, but anyhow, um, just, just use warm because that's what they say on the recipe. And um, you want to add in anything like your glitter or your um, coloring. You want to add that into the water glue mixture first. And then you'll add your, you'll pour your borax and water mixture into it just a little bit at a time and start stirring because you want, you're not going to need it all. You'll see quickly that it'll, it'll start to form together pretty fast when you start mixing in. I have to work fast because these are getting cold again and I don't want to have to reheat these. So we'll get started in just a second. I also have something to mix with. I have a popsicle stick because I don't want to have to wash it when I'm done. I just want to take a popsicle stick, stir it around and throw it out when I'm done. Um, but I also have gloves because if uh, once you're joining this stuff together, it will get really clumpy and sticky and it'll get all over you. So if you want to use gloves, you can to keep your hands clean. But after that, you know, kind of work it with your hands. It's better to get all those bubbles out. What we're going to make is going to look really gross and soapy. It's going to look weird and foamy and chunky. It's it's going to look kind of not pleasant. Um, but I promise it does turn out just like this because I'm going to do it the same exact way that this was made. So uh, let me probably reheat my water and then I will get started mixing everything together.
Okay, now all the stuff is mixed into the solution. So what we have right now is just watery glue with food coloring, uh, the green glitter, and then these uh, crazy little styrofoam balls that want to fly and stick to everything uh, that they can get onto. So then I also have my water with the teaspoon of borax in there. And I, I think I figured something out as I was mixing it. I think the reason why we're using warm water is because the warm water will help to mix the stuff a little bit better. I think that the glue sort of mixes together with the water better with warm. And then, I don't know, maybe the heat does something to activate the borax. Maybe it, maybe it sets things in motion with that. I'm not really sure. I'm going to show how you kind of have to do this kind of quickly. You don't have to put a whole lot in here. I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of the borax in there and then start to move it around, you'll start to see it clump up. I don't know if you can see that, but I can feel it because as I'm stirring around, I feel that it's starting to give a little resistance. I, I know there's something going on in there, there's a chemical reaction. And it's really cool because I guess it's good for a science project or something. It's cool how it all comes together. The thing is, I just don't know what do you do with it when you're done. Anyways, if you feel like you want it to be a little thicker, a little easier to maybe mush up in your hand or whatever, I don't know, add a little more. I added much more than this to my first batch. Um, but you can see it's starting to, look at that. Looks like, it's really gross. Let me put a bit more in there. And then it, it will instantly just start to form together. And you'll see that as you're stirring, some parts will get, oh, gross, got on me. Some parts will get really clumpy really fast and the rest will be very watery. And you think, well, what do I do with the watery part? Do I just dump it out? No, because when you leave it alone, um, let it kind of sit there for a little bit, um, it, the watery part will work itself in somehow. I don't know how. But if you take it out, it'll mess with it, and then you, all you'll be left with is this super thick, chunky part. So I just kind of chop it up as I stir. You can see it getting bubbly because it's something to do with just having it stirred so much. It gets kind of foamy and frothy. I might add just a tiny bit more of the borax, I don't know. This is where if you want to put your gloves on or just get right in there with your hands and start mushing it around, you can. It doesn't really make a difference though. At this point, mixing it up more is not really going to help. I just chop up this chunky stuff into pieces and then walk away from it and see what it does. Yeah, I've just come back to check it and stir it a little bit as it was starting to sort of mix with whatever was around it. Uh, you can see there's a lot less liquid in there, but I didn't empty any out. I didn't go, you know, dump some out and pretend like I didn't. Um, it's all just coming together. Um, you can see all the bubbles in there. And um, those will they'll work their way into the slime. You can still see a lot of bubbles in this. It's almost like hair gel, you know. It looks like how a hair gel looks in, in the bottle. It's got a lot of bubbles, I don't know if you can see any of those. Uh, with the glitter, it all sort of blends in. Um, I don't really know the best way to store this stuff. Sometimes kids will just put it in Ziploc bags, take it out when they want to play with it. It's pretty much temporary anyways. You don't really keep this stuff for very long. I um, guess if you're brave enough, you can get your hands in there and start working with this. Looks pretty gross. But again, you know, if you just leave it out for a while, it'll, and it's so slow, you can, sort of lean it like this and eventually it will <laughs> all pour out but uh super slow all right let's uh let's let this thing sit for just a little bit longer maybe a few minutes it's got that bounce to it so i know it, we're getting there but uh, i think next time i mess with it i'll be able to hold it and um try to work it in my hand a little bit without getting all over me time that it took for this stuff to drip out of the container I think our slime is ready to take out and test um, I think it took about 10 minutes for it to go from halfway in the container to just pour it out to this like this I don't worry about it getting on this thing because this will peel right up but 
just to give you an idea of how slow moving it is. Let's stick that back in there. All right, so let's get this guy out. It's a little gooey at the bottom of the container. Oh, it came off nice and clean there. That was nice. All right, it will get on your hands a little bit when you start to work it because it's still kind of gooey from where it picked up some of the bubbly stuff from the bottom. And I know it doesn't look clear even though we use clear glue, but that is because of the bubbles. The bubbles that got in there, um, they haven't popped yet, so they're kind of making it look a little bit opaque. Like there's not a clear in there, but we can, uh, if you stretch it, you'll be able to see, and it is workable now, so we'll be able to do this without getting it all over us. I mean, maybe a little bit, just because it was still a little sticky in the container. Um, this is, uh, some people will use this stuff to, uh, to clean their cars, kind of like to clean the, uh, the little, uh, the door handle and all those little tricky spots that collect dust. You wouldn't want to put glitter and all these fun little add-ins in the slime that you're going to use to clean your car, but I have heard that it works to just kind of lay it on the area wherever you've got some dust and dirt kind of piling up and let it, let it just go into all those corners and then pull it out and it'll pick up all that stuff. Um, other than that, I don't think this stuff really has a use besides just keeping kids entertained for a long time. But yes, it does do that long stretch if you are slow with it and let it, let it pull apart. This stuff will stick to your furniture, so I wouldn't let the kids play with it on your couch or on the carpet. It'll stick on that. I have seen at school where they, um, they used to play with it on the sidewalk, and if they got a dark color slime stuck to the sidewalk, it sometimes wouldn't come up, so I'd be mindful of that as well if you're playing out on the sidewalk with it or in the driveway I don't let it sit on the driveway for too long because it will kind of stain wherever you leave it behind oh this is so slow let me see if I can pull it apart for you too so you can see the clear window if I kind of just get it in my hands like this and pull it remember if you just go fast with it that's what it's going to look like you didn't ruin it you just have to work slow with this one or what you want if you want a um slime that can move a little faster not one like this um, you can just put uh, less borax try the same recipe only use instead of a whole teaspoon of borax just use a quarter teaspoon or an eighth of a teaspoon and then when you mix it in you can mix more of it into it and your slime will be uh, softer and I guess a little more watery or however however you describe slime I don't know yeah look at that there's a little Little styrofoam balls in there look kind of cool, like alien slime. You can put uh, wiggly eyes in there. You can get kind of fun with the little, little creative with your add-ins. Um, look at that, that's pretty cool. It does stretch a long ways before it will break. Um, I'm gonna push this aside and talk about the borax for a second. I've heard some people say borax is unsafe or you don't wanna use borax if you don't have to, like use the contact solution, they'll say. I've got some bubbles in there. Um, contact solution is expensive and for whatever reason, they don't all work. Some store brands will work great and then other regular brands or other store brands will, will not work at all. I don't know why. I think it'd be all made of the same stuff, at least the same. Uh, main active ingredients but um i don't know they don't they don't all work the same uh this stuff says on here this borax what an old brand i think this is the only one they make it's the only one i've ever seen it says it's all natural um it also is something people use on their laundry so i think if you can use it on your laundry it's safe to touch in your hands um and play with if it's something like this um, I would say don't ingest it. That's probably good advice, but um, I hope you wouldn't eat anything that looks like this anyway. But uh, the more you play with it, the more those bubbles will come out and you'll start to see a more clear slime. Um, so you don't need a whole lot of glitter at all to just be able to see it all through there. I think you can even see it pretty good on the camera. Um, but uh, that's, that's the simple slime recipe that uses only water, glue, and borax, unless you want your add-ins in there. Thank you.